Hey guys, Sheree Thompson here, registered dietitian with the University of Utah, here today to walk you through step by step how to cook overnight oats. This is such a healthy option, it's the easiest breakfast to meal prep ahead so you can eat it throughout the whole week. It also requires minimal ingredients. It's essentially just non-cooked oats and milk and because the oats soak overnight, it doesn't require any cooking. It's also a great recipe for kids. They can choose their own add-ins and they can also help assemble the jars. So today I'll be showing you three different variations, apple cinnamon, banana nut, and peanut butter chocolate. And essentially all you need to make overnight oats, there's four staple ingredients. Oats, which for this recipe I recommend rolled oats. So that's because we're looking for a certain texture. We want it to be creamy, we want it to be chewy without being too mushy. And so that's what we're gonna get with rolled oats. If you start to use um, any other kind still cut, they require heat to properly break down. Oatmeal is also such an important source of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. It's also an excellent source of fiber, which helps to regulate blood sugar and also helps us to feel full longer. So the second ingredient, milk. So you can use any kind of milk that you have on hand or prefer, um, whole milk, is great, it makes it creamy. You can use almond or cashew milk. I've chosen almond for this recipe. Third ingredient, chia seeds. Chia seeds help thicken up the oatmeal as well and also help with that creaminess. They also have a lot of nutrients and fiber as well. Last is the maple syrup, and we just need a little bit of this. You can use maple or honey. So to get started, we're going to um, Place a small saucepan over medium heat, and we're going to combine our chopped apple, it's a chopped peeled apple, we're going to combine that along with some of the ingredients, maple syrup, water, vanilla, and also some of those warm spices to tie it together. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my apple pieces right into the saucepan. Next, we'll add maple syrup. Just a little bit. We'll also add some water. Dash of vanilla. And lastly, those spices I was telling you about. We're going to be adding some cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, and just a pinch of salt. So this is going to cook um, for just roughly four to five minutes, just for the apples to soften up a little bit. Get that going on the stove. Okay, well this is about finished up. We just wanted the apples to soften just a little bit. And so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take our mason jar, and I think these are so great to make this recipe in. They're just easy, grab, grab and go. So what you're going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and spoon all of this apple mixture into the bottom of our mason jar, just like this. And all we have to do now is add the milk and the oats and the chia seeds. So I'm gonna take my oats. I'm gonna pour those right over the top here. Chia seeds. And last but not least, the milk. And we're just gonna pour this right over the top. Just like this. And there you have it. That is our apple cinnamon. And now, lastly, we're just going to go ahead and shake it up, just to make sure everything gets well distributed. 
and it's set to go in the fridge. So for this next variation, banana nut, I already have my pre-measured oatmeal and chia seeds in this jar. And we're gonna blend um, the other ingredients. And I'm using a Nutribullet today, you can use a blender. If you don't have one of these on hand, you can also just put it into a bowl and mash it with a fork, that's a great option as well. So I'm gonna add my milk into the blender. Also going to add vanilla. And lastly, our banana. Then we're just gonna blend this really quick. It just takes a couple seconds. Right. I'm going to take the lid off here and it already smells so good. And then all you're going to do is dump it over the top of your oats and your chia seeds and we're done. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on and give it a good shake and this one's ready for the fridge as well. For this last variation, I'm going to show you chocolate peanut butter. I already have my oats in my mason jar, and all I'm gonna do is add everything to the blender. So I'm going to get my milk here. Peanut butter is up next. Just a good scoop of peanut butter. Our maple syrup. And this one's delicious because after it's done cooking overnight, you can top it with a few dark chocolate chips. That's a great option too. And then lastly, our cocoa powder. And we're just gonna quickly blend this up and dump it over the top of the oats. And we are all done. This one's ready for the refrigerator as well. And so these are a great, healthy option for breakfast, perfect for on the go. Um, a lot of our mornings are super busy with kids and work, and so this is a perfect option. Thanks guys for participating in this Overnight Oats recipe. I'm Sheree Thompson, registered dietitian with University of Utah Health.